What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Johnny coming at you. We got some TTM uh, returns to show today. We got seven in the box. For those of you that don't know, TTM stand for Through the Mail. I send out bunches of requests out to athletes across all sports. I'm usually baseball heavy because I'm trying to collect as many autographs in all the sets from 1950 to 1990 area, 93, 94, and uh, this is a great way for me to document my collection and maybe give you guys some ideas to send out. Um, if you dig autographs, sports cards, and what is it? That's right, good vibes. Hit that like button. Boy, that helps out my videos more than you guys know and just brings those good vibes right back to me. Let's get started, guys, this week, um, Wednesday, hump day. Uh, hopefully, I... Um, I'm looking forward to meeting a subscriber of mine and a friend of the channel, Colton. Colton and his family are nearby Knoxville, Tennessee, in the Great Smoky Mountains, doing some vacationing. And uh, hopefully I get to meet them in, um, at a nearby card shop so we can hang out. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Let's get to it, guys. Pittsburgh, PA is our first one. Two of two success. Looks like we have a, um, I threw $6 in there, 24 days. Uh, to get, oh, Elroy Face. Elroy Face, I don't believe is a fee, but I always try to throw 3 to $5 a card just because he is an old-timer and um, he's a great pirate. Here, I got him on a 1960 Pittsburgh, um, I don't know, it's like, it's like a, it, it's, I got a whole bunch of these team cards and I sent about five or six living uh, pirate players out. So hopefully the rest will come back and check out that vintage team pirate card. Mr. Elroy Face took his time to give me some ink up there. That orange background just just uh, just blows off there. It looks great. Can send this to uh, M M Law. Could probably send this to Wood. Might be a couple I can get that signed on. So, Mr. Elroy Face, great, great TTMer. All right, guys. Next one is coming out of Portland, Oregon. We have a 101 success, zero fee, only 22 days to get this one back. Another vintage, looks like a 1966 Tops. I believe I got a whole bunch of these 66 from our friend uh, Stephen in uh, Loudoun. Uh, Daryl Sutherland, look at that blue ink on matching the, uh, the blue Mets hat. So, Mr. Sutherland, sir, thank you for your autograph. Awesome. Love when those vintage come back, guys. Next one, we got Charlotte, North Carolina. I got a feeling this is going to be a racer. 101, zero fee, 39 days. And one of my 1991 Max cards. Uh, Jack Roush was an owner. Gave us some silver ink on that card. So very nice. I've gotten Mr. Roush or Roush or Roush before, but I needed that autograph on that 91 Max. That set is coming along. So thank you, sir, for that autograph. Next one. Springfield, 101, zero fee, 56 days. Another vintage coming at us. John Felsky on a 1973 Tops. Not the most impressive autograph. Looks like he signs a J and an F, and that F is running out of ink. Or he might have put a finger on it. But that's his autograph, and I needed it for the 73 top set. So, Mr. Felsky, thank you, sir, for returning with your autograph. We got three more guys. Lee Valley, PA is our next one. 101, zero fee, 25 days. There's another 1966 Red Sox, Bob DeLiba. Blue ink looking great on that card, right on the top against his forehead. So, Mr. DeLiba, sir, thank you. See, an auto accident nearly ended Bob's career in 1960. Always ask the, I have a feeling, I want to say I asked him something about that accident. I always try to read the backs of these cards, and if I can find any information, I always try to personalize the letter or a little note I send. Uh, always ask questions. They don't always respond, but like I said, I'm going for those autographs, and that's all I care about. So, that's cool that they do that. Mr. Don Lee. Phoenix, Arizona, Don Lean always thanks us in the back here. 2 of 1 success, 0 feet, 10 days. Great, great older vintage player. And I got him on a Team Cubs card. I thought he signed. 
I guess not. I thought he signed um, a card for me. I thought... Yeah, that's what I thought. He threw this in, which was pretty cool. Chicago Cubs kind of baseball. I don't know, but he looked like underneath he signed his name in pencil and then went over it. But it's an autograph. And then this old card um, looks like we got uh, one. Don Kissinger, Phil Nye, and there's old Don Lee on there. I love these vintage cards. Who else can we get on there? There's a couple on there. So thank you, sir, for your autograph. That little car, little baseball sticker card is pretty neat. All right, last but certainly not least, we got another one. Got to put another little tray up here. Jacksonville, Florida. We got a two of one success, zero fee in 62, time, uh, 62 days time. He was nice enough to put some ink in another 196. He got a lot of 66 back. Gordon Richardson for New York Mets. Wow, a lot of Mets today. Check it out. Um, and he was, like I said, put some ink on an index card. Guys, what do you like about the returns? Let me know. Got one racing, got some classics, got some team cards. Let me know if I helped you and what your favorite was. Be good to each other, guys. Colton, looking forward to seeing you, brother. Johnny out.